A couple of videos back, I shared how to get started as a UGC content creator, and I got a lot of love, but also a lot of questions on how to actually find clients and agencies online to work with. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three best ways to find clients and agencies to get gigs as a UGC creator. Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I am currently doing a series on my channel where I'm talking about social media and content creating and UGC recently came up as a new source of income for me, a new journey in my freelancing world. So I talked about it on YouTube and you guys are so interested to learn more. Today we're going to be talking about how to find your first client or some new clients and how to find agencies to work with. I mentioned that in my how to get started as a UGC creator video. And you guys want to know how to find agencies and stuff. So I'm giving you guys my three best ways. These are like the best solid ways to go out and to find new clients. So number one, I feel like it's very, very obvious, but it is on social media. So Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, all of the social media platforms, you can easily find a client or an agency to work with. Believe it or not, there are a lot of agencies already on social media and even members of marketing agencies like head of marketing, head of advertising that are constantly searching out for content creators. So if you think about it, posting on Instagram and TikTok are not only going to make your portfolio look better, but your content might just land on their For You page. And these people are on all social media platforms, even Clubhouse. If you're not familiar with what Clubhouse is, it's an audio networking app where you can network with a ton of different people that have the same common interests as you and there are a lot of like brainstorming content strategy rooms there's a lot of marketing rooms where a lot of people that have a lot of connections are going to be in those rooms and if you by chance say that you're a content creator they might reach out to you through the dms so i would definitely look into clubhouse i've been on clubhouse for a while it's been a while since i have participated in any rooms but it really helped me get my name out there and it also helped me get a lot of followers on Instagram just by saying that I do social media and I'm a vlogger. Even LinkedIn as well. I feel like that really isn't a sought after platform that Gen Z users use. I feel like a lot of millennials use LinkedIn, but there's a lot of agencies on LinkedIn as well. And a lot of like CEOs and marketing people again are on LinkedIn. So what I would do is I would go on some profiles and kind of stalk them and try to find their website or Instagram. And I would just reach out to them from there. Just be like, hi, I'm a content creator. I do UGC content. You know, if you have any opportunities for this style of project, here's my portfolio, feel free to reach out. Literally just finding their email or their Instagram DMs, you're good. Another platform that's like booming for UGC content creators right now is Twitter, believe it or not. I've been following some content creators on TikTok and they're talking about Twitter right now and they're saying hop on it, hop on it. So I actually just signed up for Twitter to just see what it was really like. And there are literally head of marketing people saying, hey, I'm looking for a 25 year old female in the lifestyle niche to create the short video. Like literally they're like reaching out on Twitter being like, if anyone's interested, reach out. So I definitely recommend going on Twitter, being active on Twitter. I'm definitely want to make a video about this in the future. Cause personally, I don't really use Twitter. It's been a while since I have, but I created a whole account. I'll leave that down below in case you guys are interested in following me on that journey. But um, yeah, Twitter's a really big one and I can't wait to tap into that. And basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna start posting my content that I've already created. I'm gonna interact with other content creators on there, follow some marketing people, some brands, and then just kind of see how that goes. And again, there's people literally asking for content creators on Twitter. So being active on Twitter, actively DMing and messaging people and creating a community on an app like Twitter or like Clubhouse where if there's a gig that comes up and your friend's not really interested or can't qualify for it, but you do, then you have that connection right there. So I feel like for social media, post your portfolio and have a lot of networking and know where to find good emails. <laughs> that's what LinkedIn is great for. So that's my number one tip. The second way is the way that I personally have gotten the most clients so far on this UGC journey and it is going through Upwork. Now Upwork is a freelancing platform. I've used this for various different projects, not just UGC, but also video editing and social media management. 
I am a firm believer in Upwork. I love Upwork a lot. And like I do for social media, I post my content. I post case studies of how well my videos do. I give a description about what I do in my bio and on my profile, but there's a little bit more that goes into it. On Upwork, people post project postings and what I do is I actively submit proposals for any kind of gig that I'm interested in, especially in UGC content. But recently I updated my general profile title and I added in UGC content creator. And I think that keyword triggered my profile to go up in the search results. I've gotten three to five invitations to submit proposals for UGC content related projects like in 24 hours. I will definitely do a deep dive on Upwork in the future, but definitely freelancing platforms like Upwork, Fiverr. I definitely want to create a video about Fiverr. I'm so excited to be making more videos in this series. So yeah, overall, join some freelancing platforms and actively search for projects. I swear, if you just type in UGC, there's a lot of people looking for content creators. Now the third way I would go about this, especially if you like live in a city or an area where you have good local relationships, I highly recommend just reaching out to local businesses or small businesses in your area. Obviously it's a bonus if they already have a social media presence, but hey, if you're a social media manager, maybe you can take them on as a client and grow their social media. And plus you're just like local and helping a small business out. So yeah, this is definitely going to take a lot of work a lot of research, a lot of reaching out, but not every project is going to land on your lap. You're gonna to have to reach out to people too. So it's gonna take a lot of work to find some contact info or to have the confidence to be like, hey, this is what I do, I'd love to work with you. So the recap on the three ways to get clients and to reach out to agencies. Number one is social media. There's agencies all over on every single social platform. So I definitely would recommend signing up for TikTok, Twitter, Clubhouse if you're social, and Instagram. I would definitely make those platforms and just start creating content and jump on every opportunity if there's someone scouting for a content creator. Number two, Upwork and Fiverr. There are some agencies that are on Upwork. That's how I found one of the agencies I work for. But a lot of it is just business owners looking for this type of work. So sign up for Upwork or Fiverr. I recommend Upwork, but I would definitely set up a profile, start applying to projects, create your own catalog of your pricing and what you do. And the third way is just working with small businesses or local businesses where you can just call them or email them them or even show up in person and just showcase your work and maybe even do a free gig and if they like it, then you continue into a long-term relationship. So I hope this kind of helps you guys get started with finding your first client or a new platform to hop onto to show your UGC work. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments below. And speaking of social media, my social medias are linked down below. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.